hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss about the cognizant technical assessment questions i have gathered some questions from september 2024 to june 2025 for now i have only 50 questions to practice for your technical assessment this questions will be mixed with java and python c sharp and .NET too so in this video we are going to discuss about the tips and tricks question based like how how the question patterns look like and what are the questions you are going to get and i will tell you how to run your test cases and check your code next uh, without wasting any time we will get back to this video first the questions will be based on arrays next i will explain the string based questions i will explain the previously displayed questions very simply first you need to find the rating is higher than the both previous side on the following days for example first look at the array first array which contains 1 3 2 which means in the first day it is rated as 1 in the second day it is rated as 3 and the last day it is rated as 2 so the day 2 rating is in a peak and next coming to the second array if you see that the array contains 5 4 3 there is no higher rating after the first day and next coming to the third array you can see that 1 2 3 2 1 there is an peak at the day 3 this is a problem understanding of this question we will see the approach of this question if we see the approach of this problem first you have to iterate an array from an index 1 to the second last index if you have problems like if you think about why we are taking an uh, index 1 like if you take index 0 it doesn't have any neither neighbor element from the left side so we are taking from the index 1 to second last index we are also not taking the last index because it is also not having neighbor element for each day we have to check it is greater than both previous and the next days based on the result we have to count this element if you look at this dry run you will able to understand this problems first we have taken this array from the index 1 we are checking 3 is greater than 1 and 3 is greater than 2 it is a peak which means we are updating and count 0 into count 1 next coming to the index 2 if 2 is greater than 3 no then we have to skip that element next we are checking to the index 3 whether 4 is greater than 2 yes and 4 is greater than 1 yes there is a peak we have to update the count into 2 this condition will follow for the each index and based on the count we have to result we have to return that uh, how much uh, peak we have got from the count variables if you look at this python solutions you can understand input 1 indicates like how much element are present in an array and input 2 is an array we have to declare the variable count n is stored in the input 1 if n is less than 3 for example if an array can only a two, ar two element in an array we cannot find a previous element and compare to the next element so if array contains only two element we have to return zero and in a for loop we are checking whether the given array is greater than the previous element and next element based on the peak we will return the number of count i have given solution in java 2 you can look the dry run and you can able to understand this program next we will look into the next question which is a string based question let me read this question. You are given an integer k denoting sub string length and two string s1 and s2. You have to generate all unique substring of length k from s1 and count how many also appear for s2. Your task is to find and return an integer value representing the count of such common string this is a very easy program i will help you to understand this easily let us first understand this problem we have to generate an unique substring of given length k from s1 for example if they are given k equal to 2 from s1 and s2 we have to take only two 
letters from S1 and S2 and we have to generate an common substring that exists in two elements and we have to return that count. I will uh, explain you with an example. Let us understand this problem with a dry run. For example, if they given k equal to 2 and S1 the string and S2 equal to some kind of string, we have to generate substrings from S1 for the length 2. Just take the two letters from the string like A, B, B, C, C, D and D, E and we are set, uh, we are storing in a set A, B, B, C, C, D and D, E. Next check with the substring exists in S2. S2 is equal to C, D, F, G. If A, B is present in S2, no. Is B, C is present in S2, no. Is C, D is present in S2, as it is present. Is D, E is present in S2, as it is present. Based on this comparison, we have to return two common substring count. So this is very easy example. I will explain you with on Python and Java code. Let us look at into the code first the function definitions with k which is a number of a length to the string s1 and s2 the unique substring that are stored in a set so set doesn't allow duplicate so that's why we are using set and n minus uh, setting into length of s1 if k is greater than n1 we have to return the zero and from the for loop we are adding the substring and we are comparing the s1 and s2 and we are returning the count let us understand understand with the test cases if you look into this test cases the k is equal to 2 and s1 is declared and unique substring from s1 is created with the set functions and we are checking with s2 which is c d f g and a b is present in s2 no b c is present in s2 no c d is presented and d is d e is presented so we are returning output is equal to 2 next i will display you a java code you can understand with the already declared dry run and with this test cases too if you look into this java code syntax this is how your metal lab is going to show how you should write a code for example there is a line which is 11th line that is throw new expression line you have to comment this line before writing this code because sometimes many students will have faced problems if you return all your code it shows some error so that why i am recommending you to comment this line when you are doing code in java for any other language there is no such expression will be shown for you maybe for c sharp there will be show a uh, throw new expression error you can also come on this line and you can write code next we will see the next question let us understand our next problem in this problem they are given the formula of create we have to calculate bmi for a given each person so like uh, they have already given bmi formula like a uh, bmi equal to weight divided by height into 100 then they will allocate some value for a k we have to check whether the bmi value is less than or equal to k for example uh, n equal to 5 there are 5 percent their height and weight are given and maximum allocated bmi value they given equal to k equal to 4 first if we calculated for the first person we are getting bmi which is 4.1 for a second person bmi value is 4.7 for the third person there is 3.3 which is less than 4 and for a fourth person the value is 5.7 for the fifth person the value is 3.9 in this bmi calculation only a person 3 and person 5 has value which is less than 4 so we have to return the total value of these two people for this we will look into the python and java code in this python code n height weight and k values are given in the function we have to declare count equal to zero in a for loop we have to calculate the bmi value of a person if a count we will update the count value if bmi is less than or equal to k values 
This is how you should write your program. I will show the solution in Java too. Let me discuss some of the important points how to check error in a code. Once you give one compile and test, if there is error presented in your code, it will show like this. And there is also red symbol will be displayed on the line which you have error in your code. And if you don't have any errors, uh, it will pass all your test cases. Once you pass, there is an option submit code. You have to submit that. Next, we will see the next question. The next question is completely based on array. Let me read this problem. Maria is a math teacher. She has an array A containing n integers starting from 1 up to till n. She gives a student problem where they are required to create an array B which is this formula like B of i is equal to A of i plus A of i plus 1. The last number of B should be sum of last and the first element. Don't confuse this problem. I will explain very easily to understand. We have to create an array which is containing 1 to n. We need to create an array B with the formula b of i which is equal to they have already mentioned for the last element we have to use this formula then we need to return the sum of a element in b that is divisible by x let me tell you an approach how you should approach this problem let us take this example n is equal to 5 and x is equal to 3 array a is from 1 to 5 for a b calculation we have to use this formula a of i plus a of i plus 1 with this formula we have to create an array b if you look at this we have already created an array b in the array b x equal to 3 we have to take the element which is divisible by x 3 which is only 3 9 and 6 the sum of these elements is 18 so we have to return the sum this approach you can easily understand by the previously i have explained the example next we will look into the python and java solution this function will take a value of n and x n is an a array length and x is an element which is divided by the uh, created array b first a we are storing in a list range from 1 to n plus 1 next we are creating an array b for a loop if n is less than n minus 1 we are appending to this formula if else we are using this formula for a total element we are checking whether the given element is divisible by the x given number if it is divisible we have to find the sum of element and we have to return this total for this video i have explained only few of a question i hope thus you can uh, expert like how much difficulty the question going to be like if you need more questions to practice i will give one link in the description you have to download that pdf it will cost only 49 rupees in that i have created with sql questions with answer on coding question with the answer next you should you have questions in html css and javascript too uh, you can download there if you wanted to practice more questions if this video is very helpful to you if you need any uh, part 2 videos regarding this you can also comment down kindly consider to subscribe because this video took me a lot of time to create thanks for watching do well in your assessment if you need any other help join our telegram channel thank you